Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my live reaction for Kake Garui Season 2, Episode 1. Okay, uh, I'm a bit behind because I'm doing way too many reviews, but uh, I've heard some mixed things about this episode, not really sure what to expect, so I'm just gonna get right into it and watch it. So, without further ado, Episode 1 of Kake Garui Season 2. Is this guy already in trouble? Again? Already? Oh, the student council? Aren't they dissolved, though? Wait, what? Hey, who is this? Obviously. Obviously. I, 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 that's also obvious. Shikake Grui has great openings. Oh yeah, and they're, and they're stylized as well. MAPPA does a great job animating this show. Of, of course, of course. Go through the cast, got to. Oh, the, uh, the treasure's back, good. I, like, I always like this character. Then the student council people. Okay, okay. Yo, that, I still say that girl's crazier than freaking you know. From Mira Niki. New characters. I am interested to in see where this goes. Is this- is he going over to their side? I'm interested in seeing what that means as well. This- this opening is clearly hinting at connections between the various characters. And I'm interested in seeing what ends up being done with all of that. Yo, those expressions. Those gamble-gasms. If Shokugeki no Soma has food-gasms, then Kake Garui has gamble-gasms. Clearly. Why? Why are you wearing all of those layers? She's dressed like it's 20 degrees outside. Fahrenheit, of course. What is- what was the context of this? How did this even happen? And she's gonna agree to it too, cause she's freaking nuts! She, <sighs> Jesus. Not the first time, I'm sure. What are you? What are you? What are you doing with them, man? Ryota. You gotta get out of there. Not those two, because they're freaking insane! Not with them, because they're insane! Hajime Mashoka. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, these fa these facial expressions never cease to amaze. Mappa does a great job with them every single time. And the eyes, the eyes especially. This show has an obsession with eyes. <laughs> I know, seriously, especially someone who's just like her. Okay, good, Ryota's not taking part. Like, if I were him, I'd stay back, too. 
I honestly don't even know how to feel about this girl. She's entertaining and at the same time, she's nuts. And Yimiko is hilarious when she's acting the same exact way, but she never does when she's with her. Which is also slightly funny. I'm not sure how, if, whether I like this or if I don't. Cause she's insane! Is that not clear? No! She's just insane! That's it! Yo, man. Like, she's... She's so over the top that it's like... It's almost more than disturbing. Like... No! They're just insane! <laughs> you know, I bet she probably swapped it out or something. I wouldn't put it I wouldn't put it above or below, put it put it above. I mean, judging from judging from the position of the monitoring like I don't know anything about them, but I assume that they care a lot about the integrity of the match. So even if it's something like that, even if it's not technically against the rules, I wouldn't put it above them to just like change out the guillotine and or take out the partition. Yo. So it's not that the blade was switched out. She's gonna make them put like their whole arm through or something. Uh, okay, she did. She did. Okay. Alright, so alright, cool. Yo. Yo. Oh, dude, she's gonna freak her out, then she's gonna be the one to, to pull her finger out first, which is that strange way to phrase it. So the entire- yo. The, so the entire point of Yumiko saying that was to freak her out. And now she's gonna be- yeah, then she's gonna be the one to- Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, I might have actually been wrong. She might not have actually adjusted it at all. She might not have changed anything. Yo. Because they're insane. This is not difficult. This really isn't all that difficult. I don't know why it's like, is, does, is, isn't she supposed to be familiar with Yumiko? And clearly just by looking at Midari, you can figure out that she's nuts, right? Like this shouldn't be all that difficult to figure out. I still have no idea who she even is in the first place, because they clearly skipped some stuff in between Season 1 and 2, like, the world God only knows did between Season 2 and Season 3. Is she crying? Yo, dude. Oh, my wa mo shinderu. You're, uh, like, she's already done. She's... She, she, she lost. She lost. Just surrender. Just surrender. Like that, at that point, you can't even, like, even if you did win after all this, you couldn't even claim victory at this point. Okay, so here we go. Is it, uh, we're finally gonna understand what happened. 
ジャバミユメコによって連敗を喫したこの女来たわね Now who are these people? These I say Romy Park Her voice is so iconic Clearly the president invited her I thought it was more than one person. Okay, it is. I, I thought. Okay, well, that. Well, there's her. There's a lot of bombies in this series. Dang. This author must like the, la the four letters Bami and Ami. Alrighty, that was Kakegurui, and uh, yeah, they de they definitely skipped s some stuff in between season one and season two, but it, then at the end of the episode they went back, so I don't know if they're gonna spend a couple episodes to actually get us up to date with what happened between season one and season two in that in that match uh, with the finger cutting. Um, I'm hoping they will. Because I would love context for that. <laughs> I don't want them to hit us with the Kami no Mi, the world God only knows thing that they did between season two and three of that show, where they literally skipped a bunch of goddesses being introduced and then went straight into the goddess saga with characters that hadn't even been introduced yet. And then they had, then they just had to they were treating characters with importance that you didn't even know anything about. It was it was a mess. Still a great season for people who actually read the manga and had the context, but for people who just watched the anime, I'm sure they had to have been confused about what was going on. Since the anime skipped the, like de dozens of chapters, but um, I'm hoping they don't do that with this. Um, but other than that, I mean, Kakegurui is Kakegurui. I mean, it's <laughs> it's I mean, it's that simple. It, the show is the show, right? It's like JoJo's. You go into it knowing what to expect, and you like it when you get whatever you were expecting out of it, right? You don't go into this looking for some some well written story with these deep well-developed characters like no nah, i'm just in it for the like the freaking like gamble gasms and the, the good animation and the eyes and all like all that like you know like you're in it for the entertainment factor right that's what you're in it for and that's what i got with this episode so i was satisfied with it um i'm just hoping they go back and and catch us up to what happened in between those two seasons um but yeah that's that um satisfactory episode of kakegurui i'm enjoying it just like i enjoyed the first season and that's that you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at BlacklistOTA, and I'll see you guys next time.